how important it was for Dad to put that collage together for Nana and Papa's anniversary. Why would you hide it from him? From me? I have no idea how that album got under my bed. If you continue to make business decisions based off the personal opinions of your friends, you won't have a business left to manage. Besides, if she's truly your friend, she'll understand that and support you. Hmm. <laughs> you don't know, Alexis. Now that we got the basics out the way, what you think about letting me take you out sometime? If you still want to ghost your boy after, I promise you, I won't fight you on it. <laughs> Remember you said that. Hello? Did I wake you? Nah, you didn't. What's up? Where are you? In my bed. Girl, is the real woke? I need to ask him something. Uh, he's right here. What's the question? Dang, girl! Bitch, ain't nobody trying to steal your man or nothing. I just wanted to see if he speak at the rally we're having tomorrow. Damn, I forgot about that. Hold on. It's for you. Who is it? Brooke, she has something she wants to ask you. Oh, alright. I'll be in the shower. Don't take long. You ain't got a word. I'll make this real quick. Hello? Hey, Darrell. Sorry for calling on early, interrupting y'all a little nasty time and whatnot. But Black is holding a rally downtown tomorrow for racial injustices? I know you had the experience recently with the cop and probably more I don't know about. But I was wondering if you'd be open to speaking about it at the rally. What time will it be? At noon. I work tomorrow from 9 to 2. Damn. But I could probably stop through on my lunch break. That'd be perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I'll send the info to Frank in. Have her pass it on down to you. Bet. Thanks for considering me, Brooke. You know, just trying to spread awareness. Chat soon. Bye. Bye. The well. The water's getting cold. You better not get out of that shower, woman. I'm coming.
that shit online, they know it, that it's not fake Sliding through my hood, I make maneuvers like a Uber, baby Got a 10-year plan, these niggas can't tell what they doing lately And I'm way too clean, I'm Listerine, I thought they been knew it Blunts all in my lungs, I got my red cup full of that hen fluid Young middle Mad Mac, I'm swinging that leg, I'm banging that dude Look at you out and about before noon. What's the occasion? That's what I wanted to tell you about. Well, come in. I was making tea. Want some? I'm good. Well, tell me the news in the kitchen. So, what's the news? Well, I got a new job. What? For real? Yep. I had to be there early this morning to do some paperwork. Where are you going to be working at? This place is called Party Clown. Hmm. Never heard of it. All I have to do is dress as a clown for birthday parties and shit like that. But you don't even like kids. That is not true. I like kids. I just can't tolerate them for a long period of time. And what do you think you're going to be doing at a job like that? This is different. I'll get paid to do it. I just want to get out of my mama house like yesterday. I feel you, girl. Well, I'm happy for you. Thank you. Now, what's the tea with you and Ezra? Ugh, girl, remember when I told you I was going to the party to see Mizzy last night? Yeah. Remember when I said I was going with a few students? Yeah. I lied. I went with one student. I knew your ass was lying. <laughs> you know how I feel about the whole age difference thing. Well, did y'all at least have a good time? Yes. It was such a good night, but that's the problem. In what world having a good time be a problem, kid? In mine. Elaborate. We kissed last night. Ooh. Now we're getting somewhere. I mean, technically, he kissed me. And you kissed him right back, so what you trying to say? Mm, I don't know, River. You like him. You really like him. Don't tease me. I'm not. I'm just glad you finally admit it. It doesn't change anything, though. What you mean? He's still too young. As soon as I thought we were making headway. I'm serious. It doesn't feel right. Or it does, and you're just getting it all in your head. <sighs> okay, you know what? What are all the things you like about Ezra? What are you doing? I'm making a pros and cons list. Starting with the pros, go. <sighs> well, he's thoughtful. He came by and made me soup and tea when I was sick. <laughs> this is actually the same tea he brought me that day. Okay, thoughtful. What else? He's a great dancer. He's encouraging and supportive. He smells so damn good. And his lips. Whew. I'm going to just say he's an amazing kisser and leave it at that. Okay, now the cons. Go. Age difference. Already got it. What else? Um... I can't think of anything else right now. Exactly. You got one misery kind to a long list of pros. I'm sending this to you right now so you can see it with your own eyes and keep it as a reminder of how foolish you're being. I'm not being foolish. I just... It's been a while since I felt this way for anyone. Plus, it's been even longer since I had some. And I don't know. I feel like maybe I'm falling too fast. And I know you don't think that age is a big deal, but it is to me. Because what if I end up really falling for him and he realizes someday he's too young to settle down? 
he suddenly decides he didn't have time to sow his royal oats. The one that's going to be left hurt in the end is me. Okay, first of all, you're self-sabotaging. You're thinking way too far ahead talking about settling down. Ain't nobody thinking about marriage, kids, and a white picket fence yet, bestie. Y'all ain't even had a real date yet. I know, but I want those things someday. And maybe Ezra does too, but... You'll never know if you keep prejudging him solely on his age. Everything else checks out so far, kid. Give him a chance to see where it goes. Alright, let's make a deal. What kind of deal? I'll get Ezra a chance if you give Landon one. See? No. Uh-uh. Why not? Because this ain't about me. What did you just tell me, River? I'm self-sabotaging by prejudging Ezra based on his age. Well, it looks to me like you're doing the same exact thing with Landon. Nope. There's no way you're willing to write him off just because he doesn't have a car. Yes way. Nah, it's more to it. Was the sex that good? Yes, it was good, but that has nothing to do with it. Then what is it? I... Nothing. What the hell is... Wait a minute. You actually like him, don't you? No. River, you don't have to lie to me. I kept it 100 with you about how I feel about Ezra. So tell me your truth. <sighs> the truth is, him not having a car was an issue for me at first. But it wasn't a deal breaker. I do like Landon. More than I expected to. I thought we'd just hook up from time to time and that'd be that. But after that night at Heat, I found myself thinking about him way more than I admitted. I thought once we hooked up, the fantasies would stop because I just knew it had to be the cobwebs making me think about him so much. So I figured he'd wipe him clean and I'd be back to not giving a fuck about these niggas. And it didn't work? No, it made it worse. I catch myself looking for him when I'm on the bus. Like today. I literally glued my eyeballs to every bus stop we passed, hoping he'd be at one of them. But I haven't seen him on a bus since that night. So why not just call him? For one, I've been blowing him off for the last month. I'm pretty sure he deleted my number by now. I doubt that. Even if he didn't, I don't like how weird I've been feeling because of him. What do you mean? Like fixing my hair and shit when I go out. I mean, I always fix my hair, but... I've just been so extra with it. Checking my face in the camera on my phone while I'm on the bus in case it gets on. Something embarrassed me for certain things that happen. Like what? Like when I invited him to my place after heat that night. The house was a mess because the kids never clean up after themselves. Plus, I'm 26 living at home with my mama. At least he has his own place. Alexis was right about that. River, you fell on hard times and needed a little help getting back on your feet. That's nothing to be ashamed of. And usually I wouldn't be. Hell, that night I wasn't. I don't know what changed. I keep wondering, what if that's the reason he dipped in the middle of the night and left that note? Now who's in their head? None of that stopped him from being interested in you. He treated you to a meal since then. And he's been attempting to spend more time with you after y'all hooked up. If that's not a clear sign he's interested, I don't know what is. But what if... Now you're the one self-sabotaging, boo. Landon's got you feeling things you haven't felt in a long time. If ever. It's scary. Trust me, I know. We're in the same boat. But we can't keep letting fear of the what-ifs stop us from trying. Right? I guess you're right. So, Ezra for Landon, do we have a deal? Mmm, I hope I don't regret this. It'll all work out. Watch and see. Where the hell did all this enthusiasm come from all of a sudden? I think it's in the tea. Mm-hmm. That special Ezra tea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you decided to meet my friends. I want to know whoever you're close to. Who knows? Maybe they'll become my friends too. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping for. 
They should be inside already. You ready? Yeah. Come on, let's go. There they are. Come on. Hey, guys. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. We were afraid you got lost, though, since you're late. Yeah, you're never late. <laughs> Sorry about that. Alexis loves to perfect her makeup, and it takes a while. So this is the new view. She's absolutely stunning. Thank you. Baby, these are my close friends, Philip, Darlene, and Tabby. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet y'all, too. <sighs> you all? Hey, excuse me? I believe you meant to say you all instead of y'all. No, I said what I meant. <laughs> Why don't we grab our seats? Please sit, sit. We've heard so much about you. You're literally all Jeremy talks about. Yeah, it's nice to finally put a face with a name. Beautiful, isn't she? Yes, she is. So exotic. Where are you from? I'm from here, Detroit. Are you mixed with anything? I'm black and white. Really? I thought you were going to say Brazilian or something. Most indubitably. Giving me Brazilian vibes. Just stunning. Are you saying people mixed with black and white are less stunning? Relax, honey. It's a compliment. <sighs> Why don't we order our meals now? I'm starving. Yoo-hoo! We're ready to order. Hi guys, will it be the usual today? Yes. Cool. So I have the salmon salad for you, Darlene. The tomato basil panini for you, Tabby. Eggs sunny side up on toast for you, Philip. And chicken and waffles for you, Jeremy. Ooh, and I see we have a new face at the table today. What am I gonna be getting you? I'll have whatever Jeremy's having. Excellent, I'll be back in a minute. I'm assuming y'all come here often? Every week. So how do you know each other? I met everyone when I first started working at the hospital. I'm a radiologist. And I'm a pediatric nurse. And you? I'm a general surgeon, but that's not where I met Jeremy. Although, he's been in my operating room to assist me a time or two. <clears throat> we actually met in medical school. So you all work at the same hospital now? Yep. Awesome group we are, right? Yeah, you're definitely something. How'd you two meet? Me and Jeremy? Well, our mothers were friends for years. So your parents hooked you two up? <laughs> How cute. How old are you exactly? I'm 26. So young. Jeremy's always been into older women. I've never known him to date anyone younger than him. He probably finally decided to go for a woman who could match his youthful energy. <laughs> oh, honey, you're adorable. Okay, here you go. Um, and if there's anything else you guys need, please let me know. Hope you enjoy your food. This looks amazing, as usual. Yes, delish. You're going to make yourself sick putting that nonsense in your body, Jer Bear. Jer Bear? It's just a nickname Darlene gave me in med school. She's never cried. Let go of it. <laughs> okay, well, med school was a long time ago. You can let it go now. <laughs> Someone's hangry. You should probably put something in your tummy, even if it's not the healthiest choice. Just eat, please.
I'm glad to see so many of us out here today trying to make a difference. We all know why we're here today. We're here to make our voices heard and our concerns recognized. They say this is the land of the free, but for who? Not us. We don't get the same privileges others get. We don't get the same respect and opportunities others get. Many of us don't even get a head start. We ought to start out 10 steps behind and are still expected to work twice as hard to reach levels others do the bare minimum to reach. We're tired of having to prove ourselves every day. We're tired of being labeled thieves and thugs for the color of our skin. We're tired of living in fear. Fear of being pulled over and not knowing if this is it. If this is our last day on this earth. Fear of dropping our kids off at school. Fear of going to the grocery store. Fear of doing regular shit in everyday life. Jogging. Listening to music. Playing with toys. Walking down the street. Relaxing at home. We're not even safe in our homes anymore, y'all. This has to end. We won't tolerate it anymore. We demand change. Now, today, we will be marching these streets of downtown Detroit. But before we do that, we have a few guest speakers who would like to share their experiences. Our first speaker is the real Madden. This man skipped his lunch break at work to join us here today. So let's give him a big welcome, y'all. Thank y'all for that warm welcome. I appreciate it. Um, I'm not the best public speaker, so bear with me, please. <clears throat> I've had many experiences with discrimination throughout my life, but the most recent instance was about a month and a half ago. I was pulled over by police. Brunch was amazing. I'm so glad you came, Alexis. Agreed. I hope to see you with the gang more often. I'm sure Alexis is very busy doing whatever young ones do these days. After all, you need some way to release all of that energy, isn't that right? Jeremy helps me release my energy just fine. <laughs> You're hilarious. What's going on over there? Oh, just another one of those protest things. The officer asked me for my license and registration. But acted like I was a threat when I reached for it. He's the one with the gun, but somehow I became the threat. It's always the same story. If they do what they're told and actually become a useful part of society, then maybe they wouldn't have to stand outside with these homemade signs disturbing the peace like this. Excuse me? Disturbing the peace? And are you seriously implying that it's our own fault that we're targeted for the shade of our skin? Targeted? See, that's the problem. You people think you're so special, special enough to be targeted, as if you have anything worth zoning in on. People who think like you are a huge part of the problem we face today. All right, everybody just calm down. Just take a breather. <laughs> a breather? Because that'll fix everything, right? You know what? You're also a part of the problem, Jeremy. Uh, okay. I'm not sure what I did, but... We can talk about it in the car. Thanks for brunch, guys. Benny's tonight? Sure. See you guys tonight. See you tonight, Chair Bear. Come on, I'm taking you home. Your little friends are gone now, so you can drop the act. What act? That fake-ass voice you put on as soon as we went inside. Just get in the car. I don't need your damn ride, Jeremy. I'll get my own ride. Would you stop being so damn stubborn and get in the car? I said leave me alone! Go! I'll go. 
But when you cool down, we're going to have to have a talk. I'm grateful to have Frankie by my side that night. She noticed immediately how tense I was, and I'm sure she was too. But despite her own concerns, she comforted me. She let me know I wasn't alone, that she was there for me and with me. And I think it's important that we show that level of support to one another. We gotta have each other's backs out there. We often have spears thrown at us from all directions and I don't feel like we should ever have to add our own to the list of the ones doing the throwing. We got to support us. We got to encourage us. We got to protect us. We got to love us. We got to fight for us. It all starts with us. If we don't, who will? That was amazing. Thank you. You sure you don't need me to give you a ride? No, I'm good. I got a day pass. Thanks, though. Well, let me know when you make it home, and don't forget about our deal. Yeah, yeah. I'm serious, River. Call him. I am. Talk to you later. Just do it, River. Here goes nothing. Hey Landon, it's me, River, in case you deleted my number already. So yeah, I'm just calling you because that's what people do, call people. Anyway, call me back when you get this. Hopefully you didn't delete my number, but in case you did, it's 985-2343. Call me. Bye.